this is a fun segment for everybody in your household because Professor Figgy, a.k.a. Uh, TV crafter Jim Noonan, is here with another one of his science projects. I think we showed you this one before. Yes. Remember we made slime? This stuff, and you hang it over anything, and it just kind of oozes down. And it's, it's so easy and so clean. It's oh, actually yeah. really clean, isn't it, Jim? Yes. So, do I call you Jim or Figgy? Professor I Figgy. Professor Figgy. Oh, okay, yes. Professor Figgy. <laughs> um, so, today we're going to learn how to make beautiful crystal. Look at any of these snowflakes. Yes. And you can even make letters. You made me an M. I That's did, very especially nice. for you. So I can hang this, you know, on a wreath or on my Christmas sure, tree. Or, or even in a window if oh, you want. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. so beautiful. And it sparkles like a real snowflake. So um, at our craft fair, you sold you sold an awful lot of kits. I did very well, yeah, actually. Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. Yeah, and uh, so you have three kits now. I um, do. We have also, oh, yes, the alum crystal kit. The alum kit. crystals. You can make crystals that look like quartz. I mean, these are so beautiful. Right. And, and colored. This one, that looks like rose quartz. Rose quartz, yeah, and it's just food coloring that you add to the alum. And, and so. alum. It's not really a rock, but it looks like a rock. Yeah. So, um, so today, crystals. Now, what are crystals made out of? Uh, we're using borax today. You know borax is. Yeah. Um, it's a new old team. Indeed, they've changed their packaging. Um, and we use that as a booster for as a laundry. Our laundry booster. Right. If Correct. we have something really stained, uh, towels that I use on the floor, I put a little borax in. All exactly. The time. It makes the water uh, more basic. It raises the pH. Yeah. So the less so acidic and less more acidic, and the water can alkaline. penetrate the stains. Right. So. so borax, it really is called. Is what's the, what's the actual name of borax? Borax. It's a, a salt, usually a sodium, sodium salt with boron, which okay. is um, you know it's. In the same part of the periodic table is chlorine. Right. So it's uh, ions of boron, uh, boron, boron. Yeah. And uh, another salt, usually sodium. Okay. So. Well, great. So I'm ready for today's snowflake making lesson. Okay. So we start by making our snowflake base, which you need a uh, pipe cleaner, 12 inch okay. pipe cleaner. We're using the white chenille. My kits also have these tinsel glitter ones in them. So that makes these colored ones like yes, this? Yes, it does. Like this, 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 mm -hmm. okay. And it, uh, we cut these into uh, three, four inch pieces that we would put in a snowflake pattern like so. Okay. And then you just want to do... Twist? Twist, yes. Okay, one around. You can actually put all three together. Here we go. And then just, I twist all. Oh, you twist all of them? Three at once. Okay. Right. And conform them to be like a snowflake. Okay. And then I trim... Uh, five of the six points just to make it even. Okay. So it will fit in our container. And you want to leave one of the six longer, and that's the one that will. Oh, because the from. container's a little narrower? A little narrower, oh, okay, correct. I'll leave that one longer. So okay. we have our snowflake form. Okay. And then we will make a small loop in the longer stem here. Just grab it and twist it over a little. Okay. And then we have an 8-inch piece of 28-gauge wire okay. that we will slip through that loop. Hmm. And, and this is just our, the, what we're going to hang it in? Correct. Okay. And just twist that around itself. And now the chenille, or you know, the tinsel on the pipe cleaner, actually okay. provides the surface that the yeah. borax crystals will grow on. How cute. And then leave a couple of inches, and you'll twist that wire around the craft stick there. Oh, I see. So that will that will hold it on top of a Correct. container. Correct. And see. this is your apparatus. Okay, that so that's going to hang in here. That will hang in there. Okay, I think so, I can make it a little shorter. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And we'll set that aside for a little bit, and then we want to make our growing solution. <laughs> um, the ratio that I'm using here is three tablespoons of borax to one cup of water. So we have nine tablespoons and three cups of very hot water, which you want to add. And we will stir that until it all Now, this recipe is not on the borax box. No, it should be. <laughs> it encourages you to do your laundry, but it doesn't encourage you to have fun with it. Yeah. No. Um, and you want to stir this until all of the borax is dissolved, because you don't want any of the extra borax in the bottom, because your crystals will grow on that. So and that might take grow. a long time. Yeah, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Who knew? I know. This is fantastic. And it's so simple to do. So are you developing more kits for us? I have three I mean, right I now. bought 
two, didn't I buy two of each kit? You bought two of each, and then I think you bought a few more, I actually. did, yeah, yeah. I bought a lot. <laughs> and they um, all went to the appropriate children oh, in my life. Um, I do, I want to develop a, a rock candy kit. I'm looking at making a, a geode kit, actually. You can oh, use that the, would be fun. the alum with um, eggshells. Ooh. And it will actually grow on the eggshells. Yeah. On the inside? On the inside, Oh, yeah. so it'll make geodes. Oh, it looks, and you know, it's not an actual geode, but it looks no. very much like it. Well, you can fake it. Yeah, of what if you did an ostrich egg filled with it? Oh, that would be gorgeous. Yeah, do that. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's next. I gotta find a container to then fit you may, the Then it looks like a really egg. big, expensive geode and, and, and make it uh, amethyst color. Okay. Wonderful idea. Okay. Okay. I wanna I'll, do I'll that. I wanna do that on the show. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay. And so once that's dissolved, you can just hang your. The last geo I saw cost like $9,000, so we might as well make them. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, and that'll take a short period of time. Yeah, Geodes so, take. Okay, you know, so this gets of hung years. in our solution. Hang that in. For how the, many days? Um, it actually happens rather quickly. Um, a full grown snowflake takes between 8 and 12 hours. That's all? Yeah. Oh. Um, you'll see here this one I started this morning when I got in. That's about oh, six hours. Look at this. And then this oh. is a, a full grown one right see. here. Sure. And it, will it get bigger than this? It will get bigger. At, well, if you do want to get it bigger, you can take this, and it's a great tip. Um, just pop it in the microwave, it will re-dissolve everything, and then put it back in, and it will continue to grow, ah. because it has the borax surface. Is that on your, just on your uh, instructions? It is. Each kit comes with four pipe cleaners, and you can make four snowflakes, and that oh, information right. is there. Oh. So. so now, how can we purchase your kits? Uh, professorfiggy.com. That's F-I-G-G-Y. Figgy, yes. <laughs> and professor is P-R-O-F. E-S-S-O-R. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Sure. I love these. Now, this is exactly right for kids. Professor Piggy, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Martha. And what a great party favor this would be. The kids can all make their snowflakes. Yes. Oh, you have to keep them for nine hours. Yeah. Yeah. Good party. <laughs>